youngest daughter got really sick and um, I had no medical insurance at that time. Ten years ago, Barbara Kivett brought her daughter to doctor's care. Clinic staff recognized that the girl was severely dehydrated from the flu and needed to be admitted to a hospital for ongoing care. She was referred to a hospital that participates with the organization by accepting doctor's care patients at significantly reduced fees. We didn't have the financial capability of going to a doctor's office to get the help that we needed. Stories like Barbara's are all too common for working families in our community. A health crisis can make us all equally vulnerable. I was a single parent and um, you know, we didn't have a, a support network and so doctor's care was just, it was just so awesome because without them I don't know what I would have done. It's, it's amazing how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of kids in this state alone don't have insurance and don't have a medical home. There are nine million children living in America without health insurance. 180,000 of them are here in Colorado. Adults with full-time jobs account for one-third of Colorado's uninsured population. Doctors Care was the medical home for more than 4,000 underserved children, youth, and adults in South Metro Denver last year. The organization has a proven track record of providing access to affordable care for uninsured patients, which helps prevent the misuse and abuse of local emergency rooms. We connect those who need services to those who can provide services. An ambitious group of physicians from what is now the Arapaho Douglas Albert Medical Society opened their hearts and created a plan to make health care accessible and affordable to uninsured residents of South Metro Denver. Doctors Care opened on Valentine's Day in 1988. There's a need in this community and what a wonderful thing it is to be able to respond to that need. Founder Dr. Gary Vanderark led the charge to eliminate barriers to care for the most vulnerable among us. He enlisted the help of medical professionals who agreed to take doctor's care patients at a reduced cost. Doctors become doctors because they want to do good, not because they want to do well. The thing that's most impressive about it is the ongoing support from the individual docs that we have, the primary care docs, the family docs, the internal medicine docs, the OBGYNs, who will take the patients and their leap of faith to say, I'll participate and I'll do my part, and we'll all do our part, and then we're all not going to get overwhelmed with it. Two things have been the key. Everybody does a little bit, nobody has to do too much, and you have to be able to ask. In the last 20 years, nearly 17,000 patients have received necessary medical care from one or more of the 500 primary and specialty care providers that participate in the program. Volunteer physicians are three partner hospitals, Swedish Medical Center, Littleton Adventist Hospital, and Porter Adventist Hospital, and their respective pharmacies and laboratories have donated more than $30 million in medical services in the last two decades. And patients like Barbara feel the impact of that generosity firsthand. I'd be still paying them off if I think about it like that. Today she does what she can to give back. Her experience helped shape her nursing career and she volunteers at the doctor's care clinic in her spare time. Sharing her story inspires and empowers others to be part of the solution. We all need to be involved because everybody needs the medical help. We all need to be part of this because if not, they're not gonna be able to afford it. And they'll be in the same shoes that I was in, you know, 10, 15 years ago with my daughter. I think it's absolutely wonderful to be able to demonstrate that we've had a good effect on people's lives. Um, we can change lives. We can offer hope. And if we have to do it one person at a time, that's what it's going to take, and we're going to make that difference. And I think that there's hundreds and hundreds of people who, if they had the opportunity to sit here and tell their story, they would say, you gave me hope. I got to go on. I got to um, rebuild my life. 20 years of demonstrated success by Doctors Care is a milestone to celebrate and a reason to continue to work together to build a secure future for the underserved. We all need to give. It's so important for those of us who can afford to do it and um, have the time to and the means definitely um, put it back into the community. This is all about the hope for a better tomorrow. Challenges happen in our lives, but tomorrow's got to be a better day. According to Dr. Vander Ark, We can. We must. We will. The success of Doctors Care would not be possible without you. Thank you. You make a difference. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you.